Hello, in this video we will demonstrate resource uh, utilization analysis. So in the previous video we demonstrated how to capture from Excel data points and send the signals as you can see here with the time uh, delay. Send the message you can capture from Excel or you can just generate them here. We are traveling through this port as you can see here, P1. We are going to receiver through the connector automatically right once you send the signal it's received here and here in receiver we have uh, two computing units uh, two types of computing units each five of them are five uh, just for the simplicity and then we have um, we have uh, accept signal this is merge then going to the handler activity which is uh, in sync false and then uh, repeating back so what happens is that we receive those signals and we loading this handler this handler this handler is actually have the swim lanes uh, and with the probability 50 50 choose one or another ecu one is spends 100 seconds to handle this uh, load and another one spends 300 seconds to handle so this is three times slower right <clears throat> so they can use you know like for example uh, this rpm if you will pass it here to choose which uh, to use you know for example based on the priority based on rpm or something there could be also more advanced logic as you can see here there is nothing inside it's just three those three hundred here and uh, when we simulate this one you know so and with context as you can see here we need to generate those messages and those messages comes here you know and then they are handled by one or another as we can see we can build um, the uh, load here so we have you see like multiple instances of those uh, uh, activities running because there are five of this type and five of this type automatically used here okay so now when we run the system we can capture results in the uh, time chart uh, timeline chart which is activity chart uh, and preferably we don't want animation because in this case it will slow down and here we will see the re results of analysis so let's stop it for now you can see what happens is that um, we have uh, you see like ecu this is 300 right so this is that uh, ecu one, two right so we have one two three of them needed right only three so the, we don't need number four and five and if we have uh, ecu one which handles three times faster we just need two of them As you can see here we see that once load of first one is uh, is uh, uh, removed it takes another job if it has the job and job arrives so the second one comes into the play and so on so you know like the second is busy the third comes into play and so on so let's finish this analysis we'll see how many ICUs do we need yeah so for this task we see that we need three ECUs for the type 2 and uh, two ACUs for type 1. So that was a short uh, overview how to do this uh, analysis of resource load, simple simulation. In the second part, we'll do the optimization based on the type of uh, data coming and number of ACUs. So we'll uh, introduce likely the price, uh, cost of the uh, and dynamic load. Thank you.